channel if you don't know who I am my name is Divine Lay and if you're new to, I mean if you're a an original a subscriber I thank you I love you I I adore you you're literally family to me and I need to figure out some names for this family of ours so go ahead and drop that in the comment section below and then we can do a vote on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on my social medias, that will be in my description box as well. So yeah, I did that. Period. So I think I'm about to do like a family edition series. And this one is just going to be freshman advice 2020 edition for my beautiful fellow or future Rattlers, I should say. From a fellow Rattler. And also other fellow Rattlers that might be watching this video as well if you want to give them more advice. Go ahead and put that in the, the comment section as well. Because we will truly appreciate that. Yeah. Give us some more tips. The tips that I might miss, go ahead and drop them. So, yeah, let's get into this video. Now, we are coming from high school. We're coming from, you know, this the regular six, seven periods a day. Go home. Live your life, right? Whereas coming to college, you're going to experience, you know, 8 a.m.s and believing that oh I could do it 8 a.m. because you know I woke up at 7 something to go to school or school started at 7 40 for me for high school totally different totally different like I promise you I've never gotten the 8 a.m. because I I barely could wake up for nine so why would I wake up for 8 a.m. there's a difference from you know going to school at like 7 45 to having to wake yourself up we're at 8 a.m. That means you have to wake up at like a good 7, 7.30. It already take a good probably 10 minutes to walk up them hills. 10, 15 minutes to walk up them hills to go to this 8 a.m. So you're going to tell me I have to get decent for 8 a.m.? No. No. Tip one, don't schedule 8 a.m. if you don't have to because you're not going to make Promise it. Promise you that. Okay. okay. Tip two, schedule yourself, okay? So schedule out your day-to-day -day activities, your day-to-day, -day, you know, plan or whatever it is that you want to get done and you need to get done. Schedule out homework that you may have due for the week and try to prioritize your homework so it's less stressful for you. So pri prioritize, like if you, you have a... Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, prioritize your homework so you make sure that you do it whether like on a Tuesday and Thursday so that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can do your Tuesday and Thursday homework. And, you know, you breeze in throughout the weekend, you feel me? So you don't have to necessarily do homework on the weekend unless it's, it's mandatory for you. Like if you have no other choice but to do it, then to do it. Just schedule out your life. Schedule the events that you want to go to, the activities you want to attend, the organizations you want to attend, like whatever it is that you are considering your freshman year, put it in your planner. That way you don't feel hectic. You don't start, you know, undergoing anxiety, undergoing depression because it can happen. Trust me. It can happen. So the advice that I would give to y'all that I did not give to myself or that I wish somebody gave to me is to schedule learn how to schedule learn how to practice time management because you're gonna need it you're becoming an adult you're not still living in your you know your parents house you're not going to high school anymore this is college this is you choosing to be an adult you choosing to be you know a, a student at a university it's totally different tip three homework first i don't care if it's homecoming week. If you know homecoming week, you don't plan on going to school. You don't plan on participating in any other than these parties and these school events that are just too litty lit. Do that homework that's due that week or the, the homecoming week. Do it the week before. Do it the weekend before. Whatever it is. Get it out your way because the last thing you want is to be having a blast at set Friday or having a blast at whatever party they have throughout the week because y'all know there's a party or like two parties every 
day of the week. Don't be that person that you look at your phone and you see great updated for da 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 on Blackboard and you just like, I missed that assignment. Trust me, because I've been that person too many, too many homecomings. Don't do it. So just make sure you do your homework. Fail. Fail. Another tip. Don't not go to school homecoming week. Don't think just because it's homecoming week, these professors are going to feel like, oh, you don't have to go to school. They're not canceling class. Listen, if you're a criminal justice major, y'all will know that there's this one professor. She does not care about homecoming. She actually kind of dislikes it. So she's going to have class and she expects you to be there. She will take random attendance like she does and she will make sure that random attendance is on one of those days. Don't play yourself. Go to class enjoy homecoming that's the main point go to the game i've never been to a football game i know how am i a true rattler and i never been to a family football game i don't know i've been to a basketball game does that count but does it comment down below if it really count that i've never been to a football game i actually want to know y'all opinion but um yeah i've never been to a family football game and i I always heard that it's like the best experience ever so i truly 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 advise y'all to just experience it once i know it'd be hot that is why i don't go because i just me and heat don't don't mix well we want to fight each other i don't like the heat and y'all know family like to have their football games either at night which rarely happens or when the sun is literally slapping you like the sun is beating you down and they want to play on the field no i tried to do a cute face the hair just got done the edges are natural again no i don't like that like how do you expect me to be cute for these games and i'm burning up titty sweat and i'm barely a b cup like what is what is make it make sense i don't like it i don't like that i don't like that but still experience a game but anyway on to your life. if you are deciding to do any organization any committee whatever it is that you are actually considering to be a part of freshman year in my opinion is the best time to do it because you're you're new you're fresh and i i feel personally like these organizations love newcomers rather than juniors seniors you know so i just truly feel like if you want to do an organization if you're considering it start the process freshman year get in by sophomore year best advice ever start freshman year because that's the time that's the the time that you're gonna have the most free time honestly and then once you become a sophomore, you're already experienced, you already, you know, established, and then you have the opportunity to truly give them what you can offer. You get what I mean? If you get what I mean, like the video. Another tip, <laughs> like the video. Focus, 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 focus. Focus on school, get them A's, don't be failing. There's, there's no reason why you are a freshman and you're failing these are the easiest classes ever. SLS? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go do a scavenger hunt and get an A. These are the easiest classes. You need to be in your 3.0s freshman year. There should be no reason why you hit in 2.2, 2.4, and you was a 3.4 when you came in. Do not be failing these classes because you want to be grown or because you're, you're living your life. Live your life while excelling in school. I'm not playing with y'all. I love y'all because y'all are family, y'all family. But I don't need to be hearing that y'all are failing. Y'all y'all are amazing. Y'all accomplished getting accepted into the school, so you need to accomplish being 3.0 and higher. Come on, let's keep our our graduation rate excelling. On let's not give your up. schoolwork and focus on you. These boys, these girls, these parties, whatever the case may be, all the fun is going to forever be there. At the end of the day, it follows. And it only gets better when you are in a proper position, when you're truly happy with yourself and where you are. You're not going to feel the same when you're failing a class, but you're going to this party. No. 
why are you wasting your time going to a party when you're failing a class that is affecting the reason why you even came to Tallahassee in the first place? Now, when you get to the point where you're on academic probation, what is that going to do for you other, other than stress you out? Let me hear it. Nothing. Focus on you. Focus on school. Another tip. Another tip. Don't get no credit card. If your mama say, I'm going to get you a credit card for, the, for your laptop, get you a laptop. No, say no. Say no. Or even if she does, at that moment, cut that credit card off. Because you need to pay back the, the 700, 800, whatever you just pay for that computer and keep your credit at a decent level. Also, start saving. Start saving your money now. Whatever little change you have, you get, save it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have rainy days and you're going to have situations that come about out of nowhere that you're going to wish you had money for. Freshman year, me and my friends balled out, okay? We had a blast. <laughs> we had a blast with this little pocket change that we were getting. Not to realize at this point, I should have saved that money. I should have been smart about it. Everybody knows your freshman year, I mean your freshman year. Freshman year. Your first year of college, you can't, um, you aren't supposed to have a car. Some people do have a car, but you're not supposed to have a car. So save up whatever money you're getting to get a car. Be smart about it. You wanna, you wanna be one of them sophomores whipping it they, they sophomore year when they come back from summer. Save your money, honey. You'll thank me later. You might be mad that you gotta eat ramen, but you'll thank me later. Another yeah. one. Don't get a job until you are actually like properly scheduled in life. Like until you have like your schooling your organizations whatever it is that you're trying to do in order and you actually are balanced like your life is balanced out don't worry about getting a job because understand that you're going to get refunds it's likely that you're going to get a refund you also have you're in student housing so you don't have really much bills or any bills at that point to worry about so don't stress yourself on oh i need a job because i need to get this i need to have that by this time you're young you're you're having fun but at the same time you're coming for school take this first year to grad to to not graduate take this first year to get yourself in the position you want to get in right those organizations those grades whatever it is because they're gonna look back at from freshman year to senior year and see how you excelled or decreased, whatever it is. Let me tell y'all something. When you see that refund hit your direct deposit, <laughs> sidebar, get that direct deposit. Don't let that money go home, y'all. When they send that money back to your house and you realize you're not getting your refund check because your parents already got it, you're gonna be so mad when you see everybody spending their money and you poor still. And y'all know parents don't like to give you give you what they saw you got. They'll give you a little little percentage of it, but you're not gonna get the whole two, three, whatever, whatever refund you got. If you get 1k, 2k, 3k, but it's gonna be, it's likely it's gonna be in the K's. Use it wisely. Get your books if you still didn't get your books first then spend some don't spend all spend some of your money and save the rest i wish somebody told me this but they didn't and i balled out me and my friends balled out we went everywhere we got a lot of fashion over don't be young and dumb y'all this is your time to start becoming an adult start becoming an adult from now because you're gonna wish you had this advice at that time I swear. Look at me. Let me get closer. Stop playing with me. Don't spend your refund. Say some. Ladies. Boys. Young men. Let me not call y'all boys. Young men. 
the dating it's not vital yes you can have your little piece yeah we all gonna want one we finally at mommy and daddy's house grandma and grandpa house so of course we're going to want to try to be a little grown we out of high school we feel like we grown we 18 some of us 17 i guess young young and educated period but we 18 so we feel like oh my parents don't know what i'm doing let me be grown don't don't because you're going to get yourself caught up being young and stupid and not smart and grown get you a little piece whatever it is y'all y'all remember my same you dating advice get you your little piece don't be out here bumping and grinding with everybody. Get you a little piece and stay in your little corner. Don't think don't that you need this little boy or girl that you, you talking to. You don't need them. They don't need you. The only thing you need is school and whatever you're trying to become. That's the only thing you need. And money. Period. The boys, the girls will always be there. They're going to enjoy the little fame that you might or might not get. So don't think that you need these peop these boys and girls that... You can't do anything without them, that you have to be stupid for them, whatever it is. You're young. You don't need to be tied down at this moment. You need to live your life. Because you're gonna regret not living your your life. You're not you're gonna regret not living your twenties and your coming of age properly. You're gonna wish you did. Some of us maybe not, but don't feel the need to be in a relationship. Don't feel the need to talk to whoever you're talking to just because somebody else is talking to or one of your friends is in a, a serious relationship because nine times out of ten it's probably not gonna last sorry not trying to sound negative or anything but nine times out of ten it's not gonna last because you're young you don't know what you truly want you think you know what you want you think you're grown you think you got everything under control you don't so save it save save it i don't want to hear it that is all the tips that I have for you guys today. If you have any more tips, again, my fellow Rattlers, my future Rattlers, if you have any tips that you might want to give or you any questions that you still might have, I'm always open to answer in the comment section. So go ahead and put that in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up. If you don't like this video, you already know what to do. Go to the side. We ain't trying to hear all that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see my videos, you want to know every single time that I post, as soon as I post, go ahead and ring that bell. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. And I love you guys. And I'm so grateful that you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm so grateful that you want me to post more. If you have any more FAMU videos that y'all want me to do, 2020 edition, FAMU edition, period. I got y'all. I love y'all.